Welcome to the Living with Grace series. In this session, we will be talking about letting go. Letting go is about relinquishing attachments to outcomes, expectations, and burdens that weigh us down. This allows us to create space for new possibilities and navigate life with a greater sense of ease, acceptance, and inner peace. These attachments often lead to suffering as we become overly invested in the outcomes. Living with grace means understanding that nothing is permanent. It's about embracing impermanence with equanimity. This includes forgiving ourselves and forgiving others for past mistakes and hurts. It's about not carrying the heavy burdens of grudges, resentment, or guilt. Graceful living allows us to move forward without the weight of the past holding us back. Surrendering to the flow of life is an important aspect of letting go. Instead of constantly trying to control every aspect of our lives, it's important to surrender th to the natural ebb and flow of life and to also recognize that we cannot control everything. This form of surrender enables us to accept the ups and downs of life with equanimity. Living with grace also involves managing our expectations. We often create suffering for ourselves by expecting specific outcomes. And then we become disappointed when a reality does not align with those expectations. Letting go of rigid expectations allows us to find contentment in the present moment. This is pivotal in living a graceful life as graceful living is rooted in the present moment. When we are able to let go of preoccupations with what was or with what might be, we can fully engage and appreciate what is before us, what is happening in the moment. When we can appreciate what is happening in the moment, we open ourselves up to finding pleasure and sometimes even joy in the small moments, in the simple tasks and in the routine of daily life. And of course, this leads to gratitude. When we are able to accept both ourselves and the world as we are, and when we can let go of our imperfections and embrace the imperfections of others, we create a more compassionate and harmonious existence, one of grace. This form of letting go does not mean that we are passive. It does not mean that we're indifferent. Rather, it means that we are resilient and adaptable. When faced with life's challenges or adversity, we embrace them as opportunities for growth rather than as sources of suffering. This resilience helps us navigate life's difficulties with grace. It's important to note that there may be times when it's challenging to let go. If this is the case, as John Kabat-Zinn says, it's not a matter of letting go. You would if you could. Instead of let it go, we should probably say, let it be. In summary, Letting go in the context of living with grace is a transformative journey, a journey toward inner peace and contentment that involves releasing attachments, forgiving, surrendering, and embracing acceptance, resilience, and gratitude. By practicing these principles, we can live with a sense of grace and navigate life's challenges with a greater sense of ease and tranquility. So we're now going to be moving into a brief meditative practice and in this meditative practice, we'll be exploring letting go a bit further. So I'd like to invite you now to take a moment to find a comfortable seat, whatever that might mean for you right now. And once you've settled into your seat, there's an invitation to soften the gaze or to close the eyes. And just gently rest the awareness on the breath in the body. following a few natural breath cycles. And now, Imagining yourself resting along a riverbank, 
just sitting along the edge of a river and observing this river watching the river flow from upstream to downstream. And as you continue to observe this river, Maybe noticing that how on warm, sunny days, the river is like a babbling brook, flowing gently, flowing with ease. It's slow, calm, gentle. And still other days, the river may be even more slow. The water just trickling from upstream to downstream. And then the wind may come and stir up the water. Storms and rain may cause ripples and create an intense rapid flow. And so now as you sit on the edge of your riverbank, noticing how your thoughts are like the river. Just as a river flows, our thoughts flow in the very same way. And our thoughts, they change from day to day. They change moment to moment. They can be stirred up by experiences or situations in our lives. However, if we can view our thoughts as mental events, if we can view our thoughts more impartially, we can create a sense of spaciousness. And then rather than getting lost or swept away by thoughts, we simply observe them and let them go when they are not serving us. And so now resting your awareness on your thoughts, watching your thoughts flow down the river from upstream to downstream. No need to judge your thoughts. Just simply bringing a kind, curious attention to them. Witnessing them. And then letting them go one after the other. Just allowing each individual thought to be seen, to be recognized and known, and then pass on by.
And as you continue to do this, perhaps you notice a particularly sticky thought, one that's more challenging to watch float on by. And if this is the case, seeing if it's possible to let that thought go. What is it like to try and let this thought go? To watch it float on by and float on down the river. If you're able to let this thought go, taking a moment to notice what it's like, taking some time to notice how that feels. If it's not possible to let that thought go, sometimes it can be challenging to do. See if you can loosen the reins around this particular thought. Is it possible to create a little space around it? If we can't let things go, it's sometimes enough to just let them be. We can let it be here because it already is without adding any additional judgments or storylines. Even allowing things to just be gives us some space to thoughtfully move forward from. And then letting this practice go, another letting go. Opening your eyes whenever you're ready. And we'd like to invite you to make some space to let things be when you're unable to let them go. Using this as a place to move forward from with intention. In a larger summary, Living with grace allows us to live a more meaningful, harmonious, and fulfilling life. This journey toward living gracefully involves compassion, connection, tolerance, generosity, gratitude, internal wisdom, trust, a beginner's mind, suspending judgment, non-striving, patience, acceptance, forgiveness, and letting go. These interconnected concepts when brought together cultivate an open heart and an open mind through which we can move forward toward a greater sense of ease and inner peace. We invite you to continue reflecting on what living with grace means to you, on how these concepts show up in your life and what it is that you may need to cultivate more of. Thank you for your practice.